Talking about this 33rd International Film Festival, how do you look at this festival this year and what do you feel are certain highlights, highlights of this festival? Well, this International Festival this year has taken place after two years. There was break for a year and it has been taking it for the last so many years, almost about 20 to 25 years. And this is a very valid thing for any country. So we know film-wise what advances or creativity has been produced in other countries and we get an opportunity to have a look at it. Uh, in that way, the festival is really praiseworthy and it is an uh, attempt in a very right direction. And uh, I think the government is doing a right thing. Uh, it is only here now, the world over, that a government is organizing festival. Everywhere it is a private affair. So we should hats off to our government. Previously, Moscow used to do it. Well, that regime has changed. So our country stands out as the, probably the only country, but I say probably maybe there is one or more, which is doing a right thing in a right direction. So about this particular festival, what do you feel is the unique features of this festival? Well, unique feature is that uh, whatever been earlier, the best creative film of the other countries this year, particularly from Iran, a package has come. Another package has come from Croatia, which used to be Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia. So these packages have come and uh, accent is more on Asian film, which is again a good thing. And uh, well, that is better so that the delegates from the foreign who come here, they have a look of what's happening in Asia. And of course, India, we make a, there is a first, uh, segment called Panorama, which India selects the 15 to 20 best films of the last year. And people come here to see them, and then they take them to their festivals. From the festival, so now yeah. let's come to you. What is your present pre preoccupation? <laughs> well, I am a filmmaker, and my preoccupation have been making films for the last 30 years, and I'm occupied in that only. So what is the next venture you're working on? Well, my last film got over and released just last month. So this is a little hibernating period. I'm thinking in terms of one Hindi feature film and one film for a television network. Nothing has been finalized uh, so that I can tell you about. Uh, films like Sahara Akash is supposed to be one of the seminal films of uh, Indian as new wave post. Yeah, yeah, that we started from there. That's right. So why aren't there, you know, more of such films? Why are they so limited? Well, films are being made. I don't say they are not being made. Previously, there was no television, no video. So people used to talk to the theater to see such films. Now that thing has been denied. I just was telling you. For this kind of film, there is a separate chain of theatres in our country, which is just non-existent. At least in metropolitan cities, there should be an art theatre of 200 to 300 seats, for particularly, especially, exclusively for this kind of film. If that facility is made here in our country, whichever way, whether government does it or privately it is done, better films will be made. There is a hunger for such films, I don't deny that. People have a little feel very, I mean, uh, disappointed that they would like to do something, but there is no scope for that. Uh, let me tell you one more thing, unlike painting or writing, filmmaking is a very costly affair, and we have to keep that in mind. It also seems that, you know, film of realism are being rejected today. Why is it? Who rejects them? Who, who is the person who is rejecting? As I said, just like music, there is classical music and there is popular music. There is audience for classical music, and those who see, uh, hear them, similarly, those who like the other kind of films, to see them, they will like it, they won't reject it. It should not be put in the commercial theatres, and commercial films should not be put in the artistic theatres. So this is the thing. Uh, today there is a, a wave of feel-good cinema, but all of your films like Sara Akash and Chichor, you know, so why are you, uh, you know, the frequency of your filmmaking has not been that often, like why do you take such long breaks and as you said hibernation, why is it so? Well, this is all individual. Now I go on churning out film, that is also not good. You leave it to the maker, let him take whatever time he takes. Even though me, in 30 years, if I have made 39 films, that is not a bad record. <laughs> May not be all of them are not that outstanding, but many of them were. Are you working towards bringing forward a new generation of filmmakers like you? How my generation is over, new, <laughs> I am 70 years now. 
but young young people must come forward and they are coming that's why the two institute i said only thing there should be some kind of freedom to have let them make the kind of film they want to make that freedom they should get and that could be attained only if somehow there are art theaters or small theaters but one good thing is happening there are many multiplexes are being made in bombay there are so many so some opening is coming up for small theaters and i'm sure they are having it in delhi also calcutta also trying and if that comes about being then maybe there will be good filmmakers you may find one some if you good film coming up as it is uh, i saw a film yesterday buddha dev das gupta which was very very brilliant film you go and see it uh, some nostromer is a bengali film a bengali title you won't understand 